there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and today I'm going to be doing some rainbow wheat from my 40 days of prayer series that I've been doing from these sketches. Matthew 13, 8, still other seed fell on good soil where it produced a crop 160 or 30 times what was sown. And you can turn the wheat any different direction you want. There is a downloadable sketch that you can print out if you want, but I'm gonna show you how you can draw them without having to actually have a sketch because I like to make things really simple. So I've sketched some text in here that I'm gonna use. It's gonna disappear by the time I finish all the painting because I'm gonna paint the whole page like I like to do because I love color everywhere. But I wanted to sort of have an idea where my wheat was gonna come out of. And I made that arc with a pencil and then made two petals to start out with. So the ones on the bottom is usually easiest to start out with. And then work your way up by making the top part of the next petal, but the bottom part of it comes out of the inside of the one before it. So if you make the whole petal separately, they're going to look more like a branch of leaves. This way they get kind of tightly woven together and they look more like a stalk of wheat. And you can just kind of keep making them. They get a little smaller as they get toward the top. And mine goes off the page, but you can look up some pictures on Google of how they end so you can see what the ends look like and make yours match what would be real. But mine's gonna be all rainbowy, so it's not gonna look really real anyway. But I thought this was a verse that I wanted to draw some attention to with some color. So I've picked out one of my palettes and I have a whole bunch of these palettes. If you look on my main channel, there's a whole video. I'll actually put a link to that video in the description here on this video so that you can go find it if you want to know more about these little palettes. Uh, they have good Daniel Smith paints in them, but you can do this with any paints that you've got that, that work in your Bible. So I start out just painting the bottom one yellow and the next one orange and the next one red and just keep working my way up through a rainbow of color. And that's just going to let all these colors bleed together little by little as I just kind of put them right next to each other when they're wet. It's one of the few times that putting paint next to paint and having it be wet is desirable if you want them to all bleed together this way. And some of the colors are starting to sort of puddle up in there a little bit. So to keep them from puddling too much and making weird striations in there, I'm just gonna take a baby wipe and dab up some of that excess color and then let it air dry. I tend not to heat set anything in my Bible because the more heat and the more stuff you add to the paper, the more wrinkly it's gonna end up in the long run. I decided I wanted color everywhere. So now I'm gonna paint a rainbow of color on the rest of the page. The, the little piece of wheat is still kind of wet, so some of those edges may soften, but that's okay. I want this to be a very loose and free kind of page. And I'm starting off with my yellow and I'll work my way through the rainbow. One of the reasons that I love this verse is it's, it's the prayer of my heart. And especially during this 40 days of prayer and fasting, the harvest is what we want. We want God's harvest. We want more people to know about him, more people to hear about him. That's the whole point be behind me doing these videos and behind doing the writing the books that I wrote is more harvest for Jesus. I want more people in the word of God. I want that 30, 60, 100 fold harvest. I want more, more of God into more lives and, and to pour more of that out. And I just thought a rainbow would be a really great way to depict this because it's not super, well, I guess it's serious, but I like the fact that it's joyful. Like a rainbow is a little more joyful than it is somber. And when I think of the harvest, I think of that party that we're going to have in heaven together. Once we're all there, it's going to be an amazing thing. So now I am dabbing off some of the extra color because I put too much on. And generally I put a little more on than necessary because you can always wipe some off. And then I'll fill in the rest of the page and just put a little bit more color in the, the places that I hadn't gotten to yet. And I get this really interesting texture when I use the baby wipe. Then I put a sheet of paper over it and just iron it on kind of the cotton-ish setting, you can go a little, little cooler than cotton. And just press across it with the iron. 
ironing your paper isn't going to make it perfect again. And I know some people get disappointed when they hear me say that I iron my pages to flatten them back out and they're like, it doesn't get perfect. It never is gonna get perfect. The nature of paper, as soon as you hit it with water, it's going to rebel. <laughs> it's going to want to wrinkle. That is the nature of it. But I'm okay with that. I want it relatively flat so that I can still, of course, read it and I don't end up with a Bible that's all flippity floppity and that I can continue to work on the page and draw more without having to go around a lot of the wrinkles. But you can get some of that flattened out with gesso. Sometimes gesso will be a little bit flatter, but I don't like the texture that that gives me. It sometimes makes it either gritty or shiny, and I don't tend to like that. I like that natural feel of the paper and watercolor on Bible paper with no gesso, no page prep. It just feels more like Bible paper when it's all finished. So now I've traced around the edges of my my little shaft of wheat with a micron pen. The micron pens don't bleed. And in the center of each one of these little petals, these little spikes, I think they call them, I'm just gonna put a little line down from the middle going outward. And that will also increase that, that unity of the whole thing kind of coming out of that one stem. And in some of the pictures I saw, they had these beautiful, just little feathery hairs coming out of the tips of each one of them. So I thought I'd add those and make them really elegant. And some of the pictures looked like they had two. I didn't get into the scientific research of exactly what it looks like. You can certainly do that if you want to. But I just decided to add another one because it would make it a little more lacy, a little more delicate. So then finished off my stem. And I've added my text in here. And I am i didn't give you the downloadable of the text because you're going to go out and do whatever page you want with your wheat. But I wanted to show you the difference in why I tend to do my painting first and my line second. Because watch me go out of the lines. It's much harder and I it, it takes more focus. It takes more energy. It takes more paying attention to try to stay within the lines when I've already got them drawn in. So that's a little more challenging for me. I have old eyeballs and it's a little easier to paint loose and then go back in and add some tighter detail later on rather than trying to accomplish it all by doing the drawing first. But that's me. You can go in whatever order you desire. So I'm, as I'm painting this, I'm also doing the rainbow in the text. So in the 30, 60, 100, and I'll have a second rainbow, well, third rainbow, I guess, on my page. And then it felt a little blank, so I ended up adding just a little bit more on the sides, another kind of one going off the page a little bit, added a little bit of color to it, and my little arrow at the bottom. So there is my silly rainbow wheat page that hopefully has taught you a little something, either about watercoloring or about drawing wheat. And if you're interested in the free 40 days of prayer class. There's a link to it in the description down below. You can, you're welcome to take that at any time. At the time of this filming, we're actually in the middle of our 40 days, but you can start yours at any point you wish. And I will see you all later. Have a blessed day.